let's look at the stage. Um, you've chartered an exceptional career path, practicing epidemiology, mm -hmm. going on to found and sell your fashion blog, authoring a best-selling book, how to be a budget fashionista, mm -hmm. um, working as an editor at large for Blog Her, a venture-backed platform mm -hmm. representing 40 million women influencers, founding Digital Undivided, being in the Obama administration as a pointee, and now you're doing this incredible venture fund uh, and studio. So please just tell us a little bit of how it all began uh, growing up in Minneapolis. And I do listen to your podcast, Build the Damn Thing. So I feel like I know you, but for our <laughs> tell us a little bit on how it began. Oh, you know, I think like most black and brown folks, it began with my family. So I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I come from a family that was very blue collar. My dad worked at Schlitz Brewery. Most people know Schlitz from Laverne and Shirley. Um, and it was a great life. I and mean, we, uh, the, the factory was the center of the community. Uh, we did Boys and Girl Scouts. Everyone had a car um, and, and a nice house. Um, I grew up in predominantly black community, although there were, there were some um, white folks there as well. And things were great until they weren't. Um, in the early 1980s, many of the factories shut down as our economy went from this sort of manufacturing-based economy to a service-based economy. And it destroyed Milwaukee. Um, and the similar thing happened in Gary, Indiana and Pittsburgh, uh, Youngstown, Ohio, like all these places were decimated when these factories shut down and moved south or just stopped producing. But my dad had this vision of himself that was much larger than what is normally permitted, particularly at that time for a black man who had dropped out of high school. Um, he was brilliant. He was, he's always brilliant. He was the most brilliant person I ever knew in my entire life and found himself at a workforce development class. Um, a guy from IBM decided on Saturdays, he was gonna teach a bunch of black displaced factory workers how to code and teach C++. And he fell in love and he had this incredible aptitude, took an internship um, at 36, if we can imagine taking an unpaid internship at 36. And my family moved to Minneapolis and it just changed the trajectory of my life, um, my family's life. Um, and it was amazing to be a child and see that um, because one of the things that I lived through my parents was I saw my family take a risk and succeed. And not many of us have front row seats to that. So I knew it was possible uh, as a black family who didn't have money. Um, we, were, we were poor when the factory shut down. I mean, it was so drastic. It was like one day the factory was open, like literally the next day it left. <laughs> um, and so no one had any time to, to adjust. It's very much what happened last year with the pandemic. It was one day we were open, the next day no one was open anymore. And there was no notice, no time to adjust and to rethink. And so, but I saw that it was possible to take a risk and win. And that experience and living that has followed me throughout my life. And so I, I went to school in the East Coast, I went to Rutgers, I went to Yale for graduate school, worked as an epidemiologist, completely fell into blogging. This was in like the early 2002, mostly because I was bored and I was spending a lot of money and I was a newlywed and my husband was like, look, you know, we're trying to buy a house here, girl. You can't, you know, Gucci's fabulous, but you can't, Gucci can't buy your house. And so I started writing about like shopping and finding things and trying to live within my means. And it turned into a thing. Um, and then that led to a lot of success with TV and stuff like that. And I sold it. Um, I mostly sold it because I didn't want to do it anymore. And I think as a person of color, particularly as a black folk, we tend to overstay. I mean, we stay at things way too long. And I know it's like safety and stuff. And, and it was time for me to go. Um, I was done and I sold it, went to work for Blogger. Um, that led to Digital Divided. And that led to me being here today, but it was all about taking these risks. And I learned that I could do that. And I learned that you can take a risk and succeed as a black person because I lived through my family doing that. 
And that's how I knew. And that's and that's led me to to you all today. <laughs>